Setting septic tanks in Minnesota. That's the pump tank. That's got a 1,200 gallon liquid capacity. And then uh, right now we're just hooking up the uh, pipe between that tank and a 1,000 gallon septic. Then the first tank up there, if you can see it in the sun, is a 1,500-gallon tank right there, and then the trench coming from the house. The um, old system, nothing was going out of the two tanks, and it, they had to get it pumped frequently. I don't know if this had anything to do with it, but here's a piece of the drain field line. This end has got some room in it here. I can get my foot in it, but the other end is plugged solid with dirt and um, and roots. So what they'll be getting here is uh, over where you see the D4 cat. Uh, they'll be getting a pressure bed. This is the uh, truck here to that delivers the tanks. He can haul two tanks at a time. He's got a trolley up on there. Uh, this truck has got 750,000 miles on it. The guy in the blue shirt there, Brett, he built this frame himself, designed it and built it. He's real handy with that. And you can see the little trolley coming in. So the first tank he ever delivered for me, the chain up top that pulls the trolley back and forth on the boom, the chain broke and the uh, septic tank rocketed off the back end of the truck and sat there spinning around and uh, fortunately nobody was hurt or killed or injured. So uh, I see other people setting tanks and they don't quite have the stringent standards that we have here.